Hey everybody, it's your girl Herbal Farm Sister. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I told you guys that I was kicking off this Garden on a Shelf web series. And so that's what we're about to do. So, what is hydroponics? Basically hydroponics is the process of growing plants in water without the use of soil. So, I know you guys always see videos and pictures of me posting things that I've grown in hydroponics and you know, I've had few people take my classes and things and they've been successfully able to grow things, but I wanted to make these videos so you guys could see the progress as uh, things grow from seed up into harvest. And it, it allows you to know that you can do this in your home as well. You don't need a lot of space. All you need is water nutrients, some containers, um, seeds, and a grow light. And, you know, the know-how of how to actually grow plants. Once you figure out how to grow plants in hydroponics, you'll understand that it's really no different than growing them in soil. Only thing different is that the soil is not there, but everything else a plant requires is needed. So they need sunlight, they need nutrients, they need um, controlled temperatures, they need water, they need things like that. It's really not that hard to do, um, but I know a lot of people that have attempted to try to grow things in hydroponics have failed. So I wanted to show you how to get started and how to go about doing things. So in this video, we're going to show you how to actually start seeds. We're going to talk a little bit about some media and things like that. And in the next video, we'll talk about, you know, once the seeds germinate, what goes on in that process of putting them into the system and things like that. Now, if you really want to learn more about hydroponics, you can enroll in my hydroponics school. You can visit my website at uh, kiwiproduce.farm forward slash school. And kiwi is spelled Q-U-I-W-I produce.farm forward slash school. And I offer courses in hydroponics. I have an intro course. I have a course that teaches you about Dutch buckets. I also have a course that teaches you about NFT and some other systems that are um, available for you to either build or purchase and actually grow plants in. Some plants do better in some systems versus other systems. So we'll, we'll get into all that as uh, this mini series, you know, progresses on and the plants start to grow. So we're going to start out today showing you how to start some lettuce plants and uh, also some kale as well as a tomato plant. Okay, so when it comes to starting your seeds, you always want to start out with dwarf plants when you're growing indoors. You don't want to get, you know, the standard large size plants that will grow outside because you're not going to have enough space for some of those plants to actually expand and grow. So whenever you're going to buy seeds to set up your hydroponics indoors, you want to buy plants that are container friendly. Container friendly plants mean they're going to stay small and they can grow in a small confined space. So the um, tomato we're going to grow is called Tiny Tim. It's a Tiny Tim tomato. It gets about, probably about this tall and it'll bush out and it is a uh, determinate type of tomato which means it only grows to a determined height and then once it grows to that height it'll fruit and then it'll have like one big harvest and then after that it'll have some little small subsequent ones but it's not like the indeterminate the ones that actually vine out um, those get really big and you don't want to try to grow those in your home now if you're outside or if you have a greenhouse or something then you can you know grow an indeterminate but trying to grow an indeterminate on a shelf is not probably not going to be the best thing to do then we're going to grow this lettuce called Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. And then we're going to grow, um, the kale we're actually going to grow is called the Dwarf Siberian Kale. I don't have the seeds with me right now. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to start the lettuce seeds here in this gravel bed. And we're going to start the tomatoes and some root plugs. And we're going to start the kale also in the gravel bed. So to start seeds in this gravel bed, what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to fill it up with water after you fill it up with gravel. And this gravel is fish tank gravel, so you can use fish tank gravel. And what you want to do is saturate this, the, the rocks. And you want to have like a layer of water on there. 
Um, and this is going to stimulate the germination process. So you're going to take your seeds, and I'm not going to sprinkle a lot of seeds on here. I just want to sprinkle enough on the surface here. And then we're going to take this, the, uh, the gravel and kind of spread it out over top of them. And you'll see once these germinate that uh, why I did it this way. It makes it easy to harvest the plants out of the gravel. And the, um, the system that we're going to use to grow them, um, it'll make it easier to, you know, pull apart the little, the little seedlings and put them into the actual thing they're going to hold them in the uh, system. So then for the tomato plant, we're going to use the root plug. So we're going to take this root plug and we're going to use, you can use a Q-tip or a cot-tip applicator because these leaves are kind of, I'm sorry, these seeds are kind of small. And you're just going to wet it a little bit. So I'm going to wet it put the water that's down in here. And you're going to pick up the seed. And in this root plug, there's a little hole. And we're going to stick that seed down in there. And we're going to put two seeds just in case. One seed doesn't germinate, at least we'll have a second try to where the seeds will germinate. And then we're just going to make a little, a little space in the gravel here so that this root plug can absorb some water as well. And we're going to do another root plug. We're going to put two tomato seeds in there. And we're just going to put that down in there. And the same thing we're going to do with the kale set, we're going to put it on this side. We're going to sprinkle the kale seeds over here, um, make sure there's water, sprinkle it on there, and then we'll cover this with a humidity dome and we'll put it, I'm going to put mine on the grow light. Now if you don't have a grow light, you can always put it on top of your refrigerator or something. If you want to put it in a place where it's going to be warm and stimulate germination, it's going to create humidity inside the humidity dome, and that will cause the plants to actually germinate. So, I'm going to put this on a grow light, and I may even put a seedling mat underneath it. And I'll, I'll show you all what that looks like in a moment um, when it's all set up. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I have here the seedling mat. It's a heat mat. Basically, it'll make the temperature of inside the container here around... 85 to 90 degrees, which is a good germination temperature for a multitude of plants. You'll plug this in, and then what you'll do is you'll place this seedling tray on top of here. And like I said, I'm going to have mine under a grow light, but you don't necessarily have to put it under a grow light. You can put it um, like on a refrigerator if you haven't purchased your grow light yet or things like that. All you're trying to do is stimulate warmth. If you don't have a seedling mat, putting it on top of the refrigerator is a great idea because it's nice and warm on top of the refrigerator. Or if you have a room that's, you know, in the 70s, you can sit it on a table in there. But once the plants start to germinate, you're going to have to put them under some type of grow light. Now, there are some other lights you can use, like shop lights and things. It'll do well with your lettuce and your kale, but that light will not do well if you're trying to grow that tomato plant. So, I would recommend that you go and purchase a grow light. The one I um, usually suggest is called Agro Bright. Um, it's available on Amazon. The uh, four foot one is about $120. Sometimes they have them on sale, they'd be a lot less. But I recommend you purchase that light. Number one being you can grow a multitude of plants underneath it. Um, also, it's, it, it like I say, it can get the plant from seed to um, fruiting. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to you're trying to get your plant from seed to fruiting so you actually have a harvest. So these seeds were planted on January the 4th, 2019. And I planted the kale seeds over here. I don't know if you can see these little black dots in there, but the kale is over here. So there's a kale seed right there. 
And like I said, all you want to do is have that water touch them. You want a thin layer of water. And then we're going to put the mat, I'm sorry, we're going to put the lid back on here and we place it on the seat ring mat. And we're going to let it sit. And the lettuce and kale will usually germinate in about oh, two to three days, five days max. But usually by the time I plant them, put that seedling mat underneath them, put that lid on there, it, it instantly starts to trigger the seeds to want to germinate. So this ends today's video. I'll have another video coming up next week where we'll actually show them where they've germinated and we'll talk about the system we're going to use as well as um, the nutrients and things that we're going to use for the plants so that they can grow. All right, so tune in next week.